We're in the elephant barn right now, and Hayden's gonna do some foot care on the elephants. Who knew elephants needed foot care? We're gonna find out. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Southern Oregon Safari, where Buffalo roam. What are we doing today, hey? Jerry, today we're gonna do elephant foot care, and uh, we're gonna talk about some of the things that elephants require for their care. Um, they're large animals, obviously. They've got this giant thing on their body called skin, and that is the largest organ on an elephant, is their skin. It's an organ, and it is very porous, uh, and it is exposed to a lot of dirt and sun, and so constant skin care is very important. In the wild, they don't get it. They get a really thick, scaly hide. They get skin infections. In captivity, we constantly are bathing them and scrubbing that skin and disinfecting the skin so they don't get skin infections. But the other thing is feet, foot care, just like a horse or any other animal. Their feet grow and grow and grow. Their toenails, they got a hard toenail on the front of their foot. They got these toenails on the front. And then on the bottom, it's like almost like a soft rubbery pad. It's a soft keratin, but um, we'll look at that and we'll get a close up look at that. But, um, it gets pockets and all that and dirt gets packed up in those pockets or those holes uh, those cavities will get infected if, it, if it's not cleaned out in the wild they get a lot of foot infections and they just deal with it. they walk so many miles every day it helps grind some of that down and clean it out and they try to soak their feet by getting in water but if we don't take care of their feet you've got big problems on your hands it's just like a horse if you let a, a horse go with no foot care you've got big problems on your hands and you can't afford to do that to an elephant so really important foot care and skin care and so we're going to do some foot care today and talk a little bit about it we're going to have ken ken you're going to come in and he's going to help me uh stabilize the elephants while i work the uh the feet he's going to work the front of the elephant he's going to get the sharp end and i'm getting the dull end as i call it um but uh one of the things we use basic tools that you'd use like a farrier or horse shoe would use is just hoof knives oh. so we just carve off the excess foot material and the excess toenail on the cuticle and we uh, clean out the pockets we open up the holes uh, you get these cavities where they're usually cracks they start out as cracks and then the dirt packs in there and if you don't open that up to get it out and clean it out it'll just get infected so okay. uh, let's get started all right all right So, this is an elephant foot. Anyway, if you look at it, it's actually like a soft sole, almost like on the rubber of your shoe. But there's, this layer here is about an inch and a half thick in here. It has no, uh, it has no nerves or feeling in it. It's just like a rubber, it's like, like I said, just a pad on a shoe. When we go in deeper, then you start getting into tissue and that's where you don't want to go because that, that's, that's not fun for them. So when you see me cutting, she won't feel really that uh, at all as in me pulling on it a little bit. So it doesn't hurt at all. Right there, I see a pocket right here, and I see some pocking where some dirt got in here. So this is what we're looking out for. These are what we, this is what will cause infections if it's left alone and not taken care of. So we're gonna start over here, start carving this spot out. It's kind of hard right now. Our feet are a little hard because it's summertime. In the summertime, your feet get a little, a little stiff, a little hard. We wanna clean that out. See, I see a little crack right there, and there's some dirt packed in here. And we don't want that in there. Steady, Suze. Got another knife. That knife is not doing real well. Okay, so that's what we want to do there. Then we get to this pocket here. We want to cone this out and try to carve this hole out of here. And we do this about every, you know, three to six weeks on average. Some elephants require more, some elephants require less. Sometimes I can let it go a little longer. It really depends on how much mud they're standing in, how much, you know, you're cleaning their feet. Um, but the feet grow constantly. They're always growing. Just like your toenails or fingernails grow, these pads are always growing. See, there's a little rock in there. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's hitting a little rock and that it's not comfortable to walk on. It's like you walking with ball bearings in your shoes. And again, see there's another rock right there. We don't want that in there. So that's why we're doing this, is to get, make sure there's no pockets of dirt or rock or any foreign bodies or foreign matter in here. Now how often do you have to do foot care on these animals? Uh, yeah, like I was just saying, I try to do about every three to six weeks. I can let it go a little longer sometimes. It just really depends on the elephant. Um, a really, uh, an elephant that's eating really well, getting all the right supplements and you know, sometimes in summer, the feet grow less at certain times of the year. 
um, especially when they're harder. Uh, in the winter time, they're obviously standing in more moisture and mud, so the feet will be softer. So it just really depends on a lot of different variables, but it's nice when you can let it go a little longer and let it go out, but you just want to keep an eye on it. So I'm checking on them all the time. I don't have to do this more than, like I said, three, six weeks. Sometimes I'll let it go two months. Um, it just depends on the time of the year and all that type of stuff. But see, this is excess right here. She's getting an edge here that doesn't need to be here, so I'll trim this back. And it looks like it would hurt, but it, there's, I'm not, there's no nerves in here, there's no blood. You can see this is just overgrowth, is all that is. And this has to be trimmed off. This would wear off from walking you know, many miles if they're in the wild, but if you look at an African elephant's feet in the wild, they're not pretty. <laughs> they look really bad because nobody's doing their foot care and they just, they just get a lot of the foot damage, but they just tolerate it. In captivity, we're doing everything we can to protect them from having any illnesses or issues and that's why we do this. This is all part of maintenance and care. Husbandry as we call it. Sorry about the huff and puffing, but this actually requires a lot of exertion. This is not an easy thing to do. It's, their feet are pretty hard. You want to give it a shot, Jerry? You want to give yeah. it a try? So here, take that knife in your hand. Just be careful, don't cut yourself. It's really sharp. And just take this edge and start cutting that edge just gently. Just make sure you don't cut your steady shoes. Make sure you don't cut yourself. See how hard it is? Yeah. It's a lot harder than it looks, huh? Yeah. It's almost like, you know, just be careful you don't cut yourself with that blade when you come up. Steady shoes. Perfect. I'll take it from there. You're a pro for that. Well, it's, it takes a lot. It's, it takes a lot of strength. There's a lot of strength in the wrist. And as I'm getting older, my tendons and muscles in my wrist are getting a little stiff and hard to work with. But uh, this is uh, something that gets you some good exercise, that's for sure. People are like, how do you have such forearms? <laughs> Doing this. And you see what we're doing, we're just trimming all this excess material down and get it nice and smooth, so there's no edges. And that's another thing, so just like aerodynamics, when something's moving forward, the wind's catching it. Anything that's facing backwards is not as important, but when you get a ledge that's facing forward, as they walk forward, they drag their feet, and that's what packs stuff in. So we're always worried about the front leading edge of the foot is the most important thing to do, so they don't capture anything and drag it into the, and, and pack it into the foot. Steady, Sus. And it's a lot of work. He's got four giant feet per elephant. There's two elephants, so this is something I have to do over a couple of days or a couple of weeks at a time because if I do them all at once, I'll be stiff as heck. My back and my neck and my arms can't handle it all at one time. So I do a little bit of time um, and just stay on it. That's, that's what's most important is to stay on it and not let it get out of hand because then you have more work to do. And she's got a little bit of infection right here, it looks like. See, this has got a little bit of pocket and it's kind of a little sore for her right here because we have this hole here. So that's a little sore, a spot where it's a little tender. Oh. So she didn't like that that much, but we have to do it because we don't. Yeah. This can turn into an infection. Right now it's just angry tissue, but because it got some foreign matter in there. That's why we're doing this. Oh, thank you, it's got crop dusted. That went down my back. Steady Sus. That was a massive elephant fart. Yes, it was. <laughs> that was actually me. <laughs> I had burritos earlier. I'll blame it on Susie. Steady. Okay, so we can see this is where she has kind of a spot that has some uh, impurities in there basically I dirt that got packed in there and that's the whole idea is to open that up and clean that up and it's a little tender for her it's not painful but that's she's being a big baby about it right now but we'll leave that alone we'll come back to that because we'll give her a break and let that heal a little bit and then we'll come back in a week or so and do it again steady juice i gotta finish one more toenail good girl good girl oh my gosh it's hard Steady, Sus. Ah, steady. That's 
try something else here. Trim that back. Steady. Steady. I know, sorry. Steady. Hold your foot. Steady, I know that was ouchy. My bad. Well, Hayden, I never thought in my life I would ever do some foot care on an elephant. It definitely was not on my bucket list. Check that off the bucket list, my friend. <laughs> it's on the bucket list now. Exactly. Okay, I have a question for you that everybody asks. What's that? Are elephants really afraid of mice? No, I am, though. <laughs> you know, the funny thing about the, that story is elephants don't, like mice, but they're not really afraid of them. The big problem is, is that where there's warmth and there's food, what do you have a lot of? A lot of rodents. Rodents. So you got this little teeny thing that's brown and it's in the barns where they sleep and they eat. And if you're not doing really good in rodent care in that situation, you don't have a good rodent um, uh, uh, system in place to keep them down. Some elephant facilities have too many rodents and the mice are running all across eating food while the elephants are trying to sleep or relax. You got these little mice scurrying around. Well, they don't have good eyesight. They don't see very well underneath and they just see little things scurrying and moving underneath them. They don't like it. Um, it's not the mouse are scared of it, it's the fact that there's these little things scurrying around. So we really, really, really work hard on rodent prevention around here. I mean, we really, really, this is almost a rodent free zone. We've done so much of it. Um, don't like to kill anything. Don't like to remediate something that's a living creature that lives out here, but there's millions of acres, they can have all of it. I just yeah. asked them to stay out of this little space here, yeah. out of the elephant space. So we don't tolerate mice or rats in our barn, period. Okay. So we don't tolerate, we're a, a zero tolerance for rodents, mainly because they carry disease and all that. So I know that's the long end of that story, but no, elephants are not scared of mice. They just don't really like them. Now you know, now I know, now the- The cat's out of the bag. Now the world, we, we solved one big problem, one big question in the world. Exactly. Yes. Keep the mice out of your elephant barn. Yes. So stay tuned to more videos because we are going to learn a lot more. I'm learning a lot. And give me some questions I can ask. Hayden? Yeah, please. He's full. He's full of it. Well, yeah. He's full of information. I'm full of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm full of a lot of stuff. Speaking of full of it, I do want to take some crap off of you. You've got you've got an epic pile of manure I, have, I could use in my I garden. I have shit coming out everywhere. We'll use that for another video. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, share. Thank you for visiting us here at uh, Southern Oregon Safari. Hey, where the buffalo roam. I'm Jerry. I'm Hayden. And this is Ken. Hi, Ken. Ken, come Ken's on over there. Come on over, Ken. Say goodbye, everybody, Ken. And YouTube land. Hi, everyone. <laughs> and this is Ken. He was a uh, good help today. Good help all the time. So we'll see you guys in the next episode. Be safe. Always be kind. Bye-bye now. Take care.